Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing if I can get a car to lift itself up with its own exhaust. A while ago, Bruce Yaney did a really cool video where he saw if he could lift his car up using just the power from a shop vac or any vacuum cleaner. So first I'm going to try using the method he did just by taping two tarps together and see if my shop vac has enough power to actually lift it up in the air. You could use any vacuum for this. This is just my shop vac I use in my garage. It has an outlet and an inlet here. So I'm going to be hooking the hose to the outlet and the outlet will go into the tarp, so it's just gonna be blowing it up with air. Okay, that wasn't a very promising first test, but I retaped it. I'm gonna put the car on and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna park the car on top of this and turn the vacuum on and see if the pressure from the vacuum alone can actually lift the car up in the air. So what we're doing is we're spreading the pressure over the entire surface of the bottom of the car. And so we don't need a lot of pressure to lift it off the ground to generate more than two tons of force. Okay, it's really far off the ground. <laughs> Remember that side that popped? Well, it happened again. So it did work. The vacuum was actually easily able to lift the car off the ground. Now pressure is an interesting thing because a small amount of pressure can exhibit a large force if you have a large enough area. So I have this big reinforced bag here and then I have this tube that I'm going to hook to the exhaust. So the pressure from the exhaust should pump up the bag enough that it can lift the car up. Enough for you to get out of a spot where you're stuck or even change the tire maybe. So let's see if we can actually lift my car up using its own exhaust. So I do have a dual exhaust on my car. So I'm gonna plug up this side of it, then I'm gonna be using the exhaust from this side. The hard part with this is this has a heat shield around it, which is open in the back here. So I have to cover the back of it as well. And then you also have to plug up the other side. Okay, I have the exhaust hooked here. Goes around the bag. Okay, so this is kind of a slow process, but it is filling up. Okay, the wheel is off the ground. This takes an extremely long time to do. But eventually it does fill it up with the exhaust. So it's mostly carbon dioxide and water in there. You can also use a vacuum cleaner instead of the exhaust and it goes much faster. So this exhaust tube is meant to pop off at only 0.7 PSI. So with less than 0.7 PSI, you can actually lift your car off the ground. Thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.